What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So market just closed a couple of minutes ago, but I want to give you an overview of what happened with Lucid, what really drove it higher, and what the data points are currently saying. Before I get into any of that, make sure you just hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So starting off, Lucid did go up 3.97%, had a high of $3.30. And as I said in my video yesterday, $3.40 is a very strong pivot for it. So you just have to kind of watch that. But it it did hold fairly well, uh, similar to what I said yesterday, despite the mixed earnings, Lucid is doing relatively well. And in their earnings, though, I reviewed it, I listened to their transcripts uh, from the earnings and everything. They talked on how the gravity is going to be unveiled to Europe and showcased kind of similar to what is being posted right here. So Lucid posted this a couple days back saying that the Lucid Air Sapphire is ready to dazzle at the Geneva International Motor Show. So they're going to clearly have the gravity there. They just didn't really portray it. But the news that really came out today was this. So Lucid rises after announcing European expansion plans. So it looks like they're going to be having uh, four new studios in Germany. So Germany definitely does have a lot of good demand for that. So that's kind of a good thing. Lucid didn't really update their website. So it does show a lot of service centers in those locations, but not actual studios. But regardless, maybe that's just a oversight or something that hasn't been announced. But usually Lucid is relatively good at updating their map on potentially new studios. And I'm still waiting very patiently for them to plot one out in London because I feel like that will be absolutely very good and plus I think even Paris as well a lot of big money is in those locations so I think no matter what this is a very good thing as I've pointed out to you in the past I'm a very big fan of Lucid's expansion targeting to areas that have good demand so Lucid does need to work on some things operationally but they're at least targeting the right areas so that is what gave Lucid a nice bump up today so let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below keep in mind though this was unofficial so there was no official news that was posted by lucid no sec filings as of today so last was on the 21st so their earnings are associated to their earnings so yeah let me know your thoughts on that over and above that lucid also did get a nice additional push higher because rumors are that nancy did buy call options in tesla so I feel like over the last little bit, a lot of individuals have been following insider transactions of, for instance, Nancy and many others, right? So even if you look over here, when she bought into NVIDIA back in December, like that caused so much hype. And imagine how much she would be at a profit right now. Technically, some people have asked me, have Nancy or individuals sold? Well, they have 45 days to disclose their position. So that's something just to kind of keep in mind but she did buy roughly between one to five million dollars of nvidia back in december so clearly she's at a nice profit and yeah so i think in reality a lot of people are starting to really follow individuals such as nancy even over and above you know, like Kathy Woods, as crazy as that is. But again, if Nancy is buying call options in Tesla, that does show a little bit of optimism for the EV sector, because I feel like a lot of analysts have been very bearish on the EV sector, even including Tesla. So this kind of did give Lucid a nice bump up. And like I mentioned, it hasn't actually fully shown that she bought call options in Tesla. So hopefully that'll pop up in the next day or so. Shorts did increase about 1.4 million shares today. 29.96% of the free float is being shorted. And that works out to be 263.47 million shares overall are being shorted. So far, based on everything, short value does have about $791.45 million. Um, so shorts have a very big stake in lucid failing as crazy as that is cost to borrow average is 31.8 and through interactive broker short availability does indicate around 250,000 shares is available to be shorted looking at options $930,000 in calls being purchased versus 659 in puts but sentiment was 55% of all the options being done today were bearish. So I feel like, like I said, just the technicals are somewhat neutral. It's been holding up fairly well, but a lot of individuals are betting that Lucid is going to continue to tumble. GDP numbers are coming out as well as PCE. 
But again, I've already talked on all of that in my video yesterday. As far as the call options that were purchased today, there's a consensus for it to be around $3.50. So for as long as it does get over that $3.40, then yeah, I think that is fairly assumed uh, potentially to get to around 350. Looking at puts though, it is anticipated for it to be sub $3. So both extremes. When it comes to big money, big money wasn't necessarily getting into Lucid, nor was it on Friday. So these are all the transactions that did occur above $100,000. So big money is just waiting on the sidelines. There was a lot of transactions on the 22nd, clearly just adjusting a lot of their portfolios to factor in recent earnings. And based on the bid, the ask and the selling price, most of the transactions on the 22nd were buys. So that's kind of a positive thing if that makes sense. But despite that though, there hasn't been any substantial transactions, meaning no PIF transactions or whatever else, because when they buy, they buy like 20 plus million every single time. And last time they did buy, I think it was December of 2023 three or 2022, or they might've bought, I believe in June as well, but that you did see several lines of 20 million. So big blockchains of that, um, but still moving on though quickly with it at $3 and 14 cents is trading between this S1 and the pivot. So pivot of 340 is going to be something to watch for in the coming days. And 273 is going to be that next strong support. But as I mentioned in yesterday's video, it most likely will just continue to trade throughout this week, unless there is something dramatic that does come uh, from the larger standpoint or maybe a company unveiling their earnings but aside from those points it's just going to trade within here and for those of you that do options with a company that is very volatile but it does trade within a set range absolutely love that because you can easily get a lot of premium so if you don't know options still highly suggest in researching them i have said them time and time again and i have done basic tutorials on what call options are whether it be it buying or selling them and same goes for puts but with that said let's look at some of the technicals so it is lower percentile of the boiling band right now and over the last little bit it has shown a very good support level and looking at stochastic because of this recent downtrend it has reset set some of the technicals so it is now just merely piggybacking off of the broader market so especially right now there's a lot of greed in the market so that could really stand to help lucid at least in the short term number of retail investors looks like they were getting in today so if you are one of those individuals that did buy give yourself a shadow in the comments but despite all of that, like I said, so the technical is starting to look somewhat a little bit more optimistic. Looking on stochastic, you do see a deviation. So red line above the black showing a bearish sentiment. So all in all, I think like Lucid is just going to be range bound, uh, somewhat neutral, but very volatile. So who knows? We'll just have to sit tight and wait to see what does develop. But like I mentioned, I'm a very big fan of Lucid's expansion. So hopefully they do update this and hopefully talk on UK expansion, Paris, and I feel like even Italy as well, there's a lot of big money that could be uh, capitalized on there. So let me know your thoughts on where else in the world they should be expanding to. Maybe even Norway, because Norway is huge. I think even 93% of all their vehicles is EV related. So I feel like that could be one very big area. And yeah, so let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. One final thing, take advantage of this. Only a couple days left. Simply sign up for an account with Moomoo through $100 at it and you get five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. Take advantage of this while you can. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.